Hi guys, welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, we will see how you can dual boot Ubuntu with Windows 11 on your computer. You may think it's tricky, but trust me, I'm going to make it very simple. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. All you need is an 8GB or more sized pen drive and a smooth internet connection. Okay, so first open your browser and search Ubuntu download. Then visit the first link. It will bring you to the official website ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. Over here click on the green download button and it will soon start downloading the ISO file for the latest LTS version. I have already downloaded it. We would require another software called Rufus for burning the ISO file. So for that go to the browser and search Rufus. Go to the first link and from here download the first exe file. I have downloaded it as well, so I'm not going to download it again. Okay, now open the software. The interface looks like this. It detects the pen drive automatically if you have inserted it. Here you need to select the ISO file from your drive. Keep the for formatting options to the default settings and press start and then click OK. Now it will take a couple of minutes and your bootable pen drive will be ready. Now I will create a disk partition. Right click on this PC and select manage. This will open the device manager, then select disk management. I am going to use my SSD or disk 1 for that. Right click and select shrink volume. Now allocate the desired space in MB. Try to give it at least 60 GB of space, but I would recommend that you try to assign 100 GB if possible. Then click on shrink and the space will be created, which is an unallocated free memory space. Now restart your computer with the pen drive inserted and try repeatedly pressing the key to enter into your BIOS settings. Okay, so for Lenovo laptops, it's F2. So keep pressing the F2 button repeatedly to enter into the BIOS. After you have successfully entered into the BIOS, go to the boot section. Here, under EFI, you will be able to see your Windows bootloader and your pen drive is also shown. The pen drive is shown actually as a boot option. Now, using your up and down arrow keys, select the pen drive and press F5 or F6, move it at the top. By doing this, what will happen is when you restart your system, it will boot using the bootable pen drive. Now save the changes and exit. Now this is actually the Grub bootloader. Select try and install Ubuntu and hit enter. Now we are entering into the actual installation process. Now this is the installation window. Select your language and click next. Click next. Try to connect to an internet connection because it will try to install all the latest device drivers during the installation process. So make sure you are connected to an internet connection. Here select install Ubuntu and click next. From here select the default selection and click next. In this window install recommended software, check both the options and click next. This is the step where, we, uh, where it will install the device drivers. Now in the how do you want to install Ubuntu window, you will get three options. Install Ubuntu alongside the Windows boot manager, erase disk and uninstall Ubuntu and manual installation. I will show you the manual installation and it will also and I will also recommend using this method. So select the option and click next. This is the most important step, manual partitioning. All your disk and disk partitions are shown here. Be careful while making changes. Don't touch the Windows bootloader. Search for the free space in the disk that you have created as this is the unallocated memory. Click on it and then click on the plus icon. Select as select used as ext4. This is basically the file system type for Linux like FAT32 is for Windows. From the mounting point select slash that means root then click OK. As you can see, the unallocated free space is now allocated for the OS with the ext4 file system type. Now click next. Over here, just give uh, a name as you like and a password and click next. This will be required for sign up. Select your time zone from the section and click next. Uh, this is just an overview of your choices. Take a look at the choices and if they are OK, then click on the install button to start your installation. Now this will take a long time depending on your system, so be patient. After the installation is complete, click on restart now. Remove the installation medium and press enter. 
Now use your created password to log in into the system. The next time you start your computer, you will be welcomed with the Grub bootloader. Just select the operating system you want to use and press enter. Then the required then enter the required password to sign in and that's it your system now has two os side loaded so that's all thank you for watching this video i hope this video was helpful do keep in mind that since ubuntu is an open source linux os so there might be several driver issues and it may cause some problems with your display or anything else chances are very less so don't worry if you face any problem you can join my discord and even if not me anyone will be there to help you that's it for this video. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will meet you in the next video. Peace out.